<laughs> the King's Speech. It was a royal rumble at the BAFTAs in London with the King's Speech sweeping up seven gold masks and nearly all the major awards. I like coming here. <laughs> as expected, Colin Firth won Best Actor for the second year in a row for his performance as the stammering King George VI. Shelf space has been quite empty for um, half a century, um, so it's, there's, 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 there's plenty of space for the, the things I have picked up in the last in the last year and a half. So, I, and um, no, I'm, I'm you know not in, not intending to uh, to get used to it anytime soon. I mean, two of these over a lifetime, I think, serves pretty well. Best supporting actor went to Jeffrey Rush, and Helena Bonham Carter picked up best supporting actress for her performance as the Queen Mother. You know, I'm so used to losing, it's quite a strange feeling to win. But it um, feels very nice. But no, I, children, if you're watching, it's not about the winning. All right, Bertie. Yes. It's actually quite good fun. From humble, independent, low-budget beginnings, the royal biopic, which tells the story of King George VI's struggle to overcome his speech impediment, has been a huge success at the global box office. The social network about the creation of the internet phenomenon Facebook won Best Director and two other awards. Come on, attack it, attack it! Black Swan also won three, including Best Actress for Natalie Portman for her portrayal of a tortured prima ballerina. Director Darren Aronofsky picked up the award on her behalf and praised her dedication to the role. I'm really happy for Natalie, who can't be here because she's pregnant, but um, she's just, I mean, she works so hard. She did, you know, eight hours of training for a year, every single day, swam a mile every day for a year, lost 20 pounds, and that people are responding to her performance and coming out and supporting the film, it just means everything. The BAFTA, of course, is presented to the Harry Potter films. The highest grossing film franchise of all time, the Harry Potter series, picked up the award for outstanding British contribution. The author was overwhelmed by its success. It's been just incredible to walk onto these sets and physically stand in places that I'd only seen in my head, well, it's, al it's almost indescribable actually, it's been wonderful. The big prize of the night went to the King's Speech, which completed its award sweep by picking up Best Film. With the movie sweeping the BAFTAs so completely, it's looking like the one to watch for Oscar glory at the end of the month. Laura Westbrook, ATV News.